What's going on everybody? It's y'all boy Q. Today, I'm gonna be giving y'all my first YouTube video ever. First video ever. I finally got the courage and I finally had the time, right, to go ahead and make this video for y'all. And basically, I just wanna give y'all a real quick, a real quick um, synopsis of what my channel is gonna be like. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of lifestyle, doing a little bit of like, you know, new clothes, new shoes, you know, day in the life type stuff, vlogging stuff. But primarily, I really want to talk about fragrances. That's what I love to talk about. And, you know, from my perspective, a young, a younger guy's perspective, I want to give, you know, my opinion and my thoughts on what things that I like. And so today I'm going to give y'all four fragrances today, real quick, quick video on four fragrances that I like that I think would be good for the springtime. Now, before I get into those four fragrances, first I want to talk about what I'm wearing right now. And I have a sample right here of uh, Louis Vuitton, Le Monsante, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, I got a small sample of it after I bought my wife um, these Louis Vuitton samples and some Louis, Louis Vuitton perfume for her birthday. So they gave me a small sample of this. And I gotta say, I'm definitely gonna have to cop a bottle of this. Like this smell, bro, smells phenomenal. But anyway, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So the first fragrance, Blue de Chanel, the parfum. I don't have, I didn't put a dent in this bottle yet, but I literally just got this bottle. This this cost me about, after taxes and everything, like $190, I think. Man, this fragrance is timeless. It's tonka bean, it's woody, it's very citrusy. You could wear this fragrance all year round, in my opinion. This is easy to wear. I feel like any man could wear this fragrance. Compliment beast, man. This is like one of my like my new everyday fragrance. I love this fragrance. Y'all definitely gotta check it out. This is Blue de Chanel, the parfum. Okay, number two. I don't know, let's see. Burberry Touch. Yep, Burberry Touch. It's got mandarin, violet, cedar wood, tonka bean. This was a fragrance that I didn't really care for too much in the beginning. But it really just grew on me, man. Like, it's so fresh. It's so clean. It sticks close to the skin. It's not like a compliment beast, I would say. I mean, I've got compliments on it before, but it's don't have it don't have like super crazy projection and longevity. But like office friendly type stuff, you know, if you close up to somebody within like a foot or two, they're gonna smell it, man. And it smells phenomenal, man. Again, this is Burberry Touch. All right. Going into the third fragrance, Prada Luna Rosa. We got some bitter orange, got some spearmint, got some sage in there. <sighs> Hold on a sec. Light, light wood sits up in there. You can kind of smell it, but this is a fragrance that anybody can wear, man. I, I, I'm almost sure anybody can grab this bottle and you'll like it 100%. This is one of the first bottles I had in my collection, actually. This is probably like the sixth or seventh bottle that I personally bought. And I do gotta say, man, it's real good. You can wear this to the gym. You can wear this to the gym. Just like two sprays, nothing too crazy. It's not super strong. It's not beast mode. It doesn't project, right? It stays within you. And it's, it's, it's a real good fragrance that I think that you might like. Again, Prada Luna Rosa. Okay, the last fragrance I have we're going to the house of Prada again, Prada Loan. Again, man, this fragrance was another fragrance that I did not initially like. It kind of smelled like, I'm smelling it now, I remember it kind of smelled like, kind of like some wood or something to me. And I'm just like, like straight wood, like hot wood or something. But man, I've learned to love this fragrance. It's really grown on me. Um, this is super powdery, super fresh. This is perfect. Perfect for the springtime. Perfect if you're in an office environment. But I will grab this bottle for sure. And I, man, I, it's been kind of hard um, lately, I guess, trying to find this bottle, man. So I don't know if it's being discontinued or what. But if I were you, I would definitely try to like get your nose on this at least. Don't blind buy this one. You know, I, I kind of did. I definitely blind bought this one. But just get a get a feel for it. Get a sample of it. Put it on your skin. See how you like it. You know, let it sit on your skin for like the day and then 
hopefully that'll give you a good idea of like if you like it or not and so you should definitely check it out all right so those are my four fragrances right Prada alone okay definitely check it out fellas hey thank you for the video that's it I'm gonna keep it short and sweet on the first one um, I really want to give you guys more views I'm, I'm gonna go deeper into like uh, fragrances even body washes lotions all kinds of men's products and I really want to buy those things and, and, and test them out for the community so that you guys don't got to go out and waste your money, right? So I'm going to be the guy. I'm going to be the guinea pig, right? I'm going to be testing all this stuff out. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you for um, tuning in to the video. It's my first video, as y'all could probably tell. Hey, man, I just had to send it on this one. So subscribe, like the video, share the video if you liked it. Hey, leave some comments in the below. What, what's some spring scents that y'all looking at? What's some things that maybe anybody else should try out? Let me know in the uh, comments, y'all. Peace.